Good afternoon everybody. Winti. My name is Safa Saluku. First of all, my apologies for not being there. I've been really one for engage with Una. Today I'll present you with some of the learning points from the 2016 Kono conference. I had to put it together in a rush, so please forgive its density. Since we are not going to reinvent the wheel each year, it's important for each conference to build on the learning and knowledge already gained. You can get a detailed account of the progress delegates made last year by visiting the web address, which you'll see below. I'm going to fly through this very quickly to keep to my time, but I will make this presentation available online through the link that you can see at the bottom of all the slides. So please make a note of the address. The conference project planning uh, was done by a conference committee and subcommittee, which was comprised of diaspora, civil society organization members, academics and individuals. Um, the meetings were run by teleconference meetings, email, was used for communication and also WhatsApp, although WhatsApp was not used as much as it could have been. Um, it w the teleconferencing was very effective at gathering the global diaspora together, bringing us from all corners of the earth, but unfortunately it did exclude Sierra Leone based um, stakeholders. They weren't able to take part because of call costs and uh, poor internet connections. This is something we will need to look at for the future. Um, there were several years of difficulties with organizing the conference. It went through quite a lot of um, heartache and uh, discussion, but it did end in success and it proved that we can work together even though we often don't. Uh, different perceptions of the capabilities and limitations of the conference led to conflicting approaches to planning and content. We wanted the conference to allow for full participation of Sierra Leone based Connor District grassroots and civil society stakeholders and diaspora stakeholders in learning knowledge creation and planning their own sustainable development. We also wanted um, action plans, work plans and policy making to come out of the conference. What we wanted after the conference was for Connor District diverse stakeholders to work in partnership towards common goals. We wanted knowledge sharing and raised consciousness and also external partnerships with empowering organizations. However, the enemy of ambition is often performance. Um, or should that be the friend? The Sierra Leonean participation was almost non-existent, unfortunately. Um, Mayor Lamina was able to come over. We did have some pre conference Kono radio discussions and some videos which were taken on the ground giving opinions of ordinary people about the conference. Diaspora participation was fair, um, delegates came from all over but we did need to have more participation. Learn there was significant learning but it was mostly top down and there was very little participatory learning going on. Knowledge creation was um, also very good. There were some good outputs, um, but again, it was not very participatory, quite a lot of top-down knowledge, which was quite informative and empowering. Um, as for development planning for the future, we only really got to the identification stage only, which is identifying problems and solutions, and we haven't gotten much further than that. Um, there were very few action points and no detailed action plans, no work plans, and there were some position statements. The um, aspect of working in partnership between Connor groups and between Connor individuals and um, 
Connor district um, organizations um, did not um, come to fruition after the conference. There were no post-conference reviews to analyze what had happened, um, nor was there an accessible knowledge base which um, where we could put all of what we had um, put together. There was very little sharing and publicity or use of knowledge that was gained at the conference. Um, there were some teleconference committees created, but they were short-lived. Um, and there were no effective partnerships between organizations or individuals as a result of the conference, except for the conference committee for USA 17. Congratulations to the committee for putting on this conference. Um, external partnerships without, with empowering organizations um, did not come to fruition either. Um, although there were some very, very important leads given at the conference, those opportunities and the knowledge for um, creating uh, partnerships was not used, even though it was there. Um, empowering per partnerships, as I said, weren't created. Um, and as a result, Connor communities did suffer by not benefiting from the vast legal and activist knowledge and networks that are out there. Um, which we really have not tapped into or haven't begun tapping into yet. What went right? Um, well, on a positive note, um, we did put on record and raise the profile of the Connor district, the Connor indigenous ethnic group, and diverse descendants of Connor district and the issues facing them. We engaged diverse stakeholders, uh, raised the conference's reputation, and set Connor on a pathway of self-defined sustainable development. Pre-conference activities, as I mentioned before, included the Connor radio debate, which engaged people in Connor district, um, who asked some very pointed questions. That um, uh, radio debate is actually available online somewhere. Um, significant learning knowledge creation and shared consciousness um, came out of the conference there was enough information signposting and debate was that was generated both pre-conference and during the conference to allow delegates to return to their organizations and make significant improvements improve networks um, and increase and share the Conor knowledge base the key learning points that came out of the conference. I'm going to read out a list of just some of the learning points um, that came from delegates' discussions, statements, presentations, surveys, and reflections. I can't do justice to all of them, so to truly appreciate the learning and discovery that took place, you'll need to read the wrap-up report and the learning points, which you can find at the link below. Um, one one of the learning points that came out of this conference, one of the things that was learnt was that a dense, top-down, speaker-heavy conference leaves no time for processes or for true participatory problem identification, problem solving, policy making and action plans. The pre-conference survey that was conducted uh, concluded that Connor is suffering from environmental, economic, social, political and human rights crises. Civil society is not doing enough to ensure social and environmental justice for current and future generations. And that the most urgent issues were human rights, environment, unemployment, mining, politicians and government, clear development pathways, an action plan, education, land rights and civil society partnerships. We also learned that we must discard the destructive mentalities that prevent us working together. A brilliant uh, presentation by Fatima Wahab um, was very well received and really did inform the rest of the conference. Um, she did highlight some of the destructive mentalities that are glory seeking, the divisive mentality, the patronizing mentality and the silo mentality. Um, the mayor informed us that the youth in Connor are 65% of the population. 
the youth need to be represented at the early stages of decision making. At the Connor Unity Cohesion and History breakout session, many vital points were brainstormed. Too many to list here. Please see the link below. Um, one of the outcomes of that session was that learning how to work together and stay working together is our major priority. And I hope it's something that Connor Conference 2017 will really get their teeth into. Current problems, issues, suggested solutions breakout session um, mentioned that we need to explore how we can engage with the media how we can engage with minority rights international global witness etc and how we can mobilize civil society um, and did mention again that the silo mentality does slow our results we also need to raise awareness of sharing ideas Some very significant key learning points that came out from the presentations by Minority Rights International and London Mining Network were that the Connor people do come under the definition of indigenous people um, and that definition is self-definition self as indigenous and distinctly different from other groups within a state and with a special attachment to and use of their traditional land who have suffered from subjugation, marginalization, dispossession, exclusion or discrimination. I think all of us here can agree that um, the Kono people definitely come under those um, headings. The Kono people are entitled to the protections of um, the following legal standards, I can't list them all out, but they are written here on the slide. Um, this slide, this slideshow will be made available after the conference, so you can actually refer to some of these. Um, Connor's diverse communities have access to a large, empowering global network of mining affected communities. Um, the Endoraz people in Kenya provide an African case study for the Kono people to learn from. The Sierra Leone government has the duty to ensure that no activities such as resource mining takes place without free prior informed consent of the Kono district's communities, which they have not given, which they can withhold, and therefore which they can negotiate and set the terms of their consent either with the company or with the state. This came from the London Mining Network's presentation. Powerful untapped resources, civil society networks and international legal standards exist and are available to the peoples of the Kono district. Pre-conference activities can greatly enhance public engagement and debate on issues, community mobilization and successful conference outputs. What happens between conference is as important if not more important than what happens at conference. Mining companies may appear powerful but they can be vulnerable to boom-bust commodity prices and campaigning. Uh, Connor development and future policies and strategies, pos uh, strategies and policies uh, possibilities breakout session uh, found that policies all exist in government but haven't been implemented People are needed on the ground in Connor to implement policies. Training quality is in Connor is low. We can localize national development policies and start a central fund. The website and social media development breakout session found that greater use of websites, social media and ICT was essential, but we do need more volunteers to run it. Connor Connor can also mean abandonment, neglect and trail. We are dealing with structural enemies, not just individuals. We must recognize these structures have been left in place since colonial times and continued where they left, when they left. It takes structure to fight structure. The Kono tradition of Sonda Chende has brought good development and bad exploitation. MPs, paramount chiefs and ministers have let us down. Uncompromising loyalty to political parties has been extremely destroyed to Connors. My recommendations are please watch their presentations. They're available in my full wrap-up report. 
um, especially uh, Fatima Hobbs, um, Saar Pombo, Minority Rights International and London Mining Network and many others, too many to list here, all available in the wrap-up report except for Fatima Hobbs, which I believe is available online. Um, please look up free prior informed consent. It is going to be important for us. Uh, read the full wrap-up report at the address given. Take the knowledge forward from the Connor Conference 2016 and use it in Connor Conference 2017. Um, Sierra Leone civil society needs to be engaged and um, they need to participate in your planning. Operationalized, operationalize a defined smart action plan and work plan. Civil society organizations um, need to approach and join empowering organizations and networks. Tap into their knowledge. We haven't done and we are missing out. Form active working partnerships. If we can't love each other, let's learn to do what we do at work each day with our colleagues. If we can do it for them, we can do it for ourselves. Carefully record brainstorming and presentations at the Connor Conference this year and create an accessible internet knowledge base for all of last year's and this year's conference brainstorming and presentations. Community organization is key. Mining companies and states divide communities. It is crucial to strive for unity for decision-making processes in communities. Learning about the issues, to have a media strategy and focus on environmental laws and most importantly, effective networking. As I said, I'll make this presentation available online in the next couple of days via the link at the bottom of this slide and also on SlideShare and YouTube. You can also ask Fuanbai for a copy. I'm happy to share, although I have a fair user policy. Good luck with your brainstorming and God bless you all. Beane.